Welcome to Bio 30 and the nervous system. We're gonna talk about dendrites, axons, neurons, oh my. So the whole nervous system works because of specialized cells called neurons. How do we get a neuron, you say? Well, simple. Take a typical animal cell, and if you recall, inside of it are mitochondria and Golgi apparatus and ribosomes and lysosomes and all those organelles that make it function. They're still there in a neuron. And all we're going to do with the neuron is take that typical animal cell and we're going to stretch it out. <laughs> And we're going to give it some extra parts. So we stretch it out, stretch it out, stretch it out, and we add a few things along it. And voila, you have a neuron. So drawn out and now clearly labeled, we've basically added eight specialized parts to the neuron. So here's our cell body. Originally it was round. We stretched it out and made one really long extension of the cytoplasm. So we still have the cell body here. We have the nucleus, mitochondria, all those organelles that are normally found in there are still in there. Okay, we stretch out the cell body at the start and put these little specialized receptors called dendrites. We stretch out the cell body really long and we call that whole thing an axon. And the axon's job is just to send a message from one end to the other. We have these little specialized cells called Schwann cells that if they are present, they secrete and ooze a coating called myelin, which wraps around the axon. And if it does that, it's gonna allow the impulse or the message that this neuron can send from one end to the other, it's going to allow it to jump, which actually makes it quicker. So not all neurons have that. The ones that do, the Schwann cell secretes it, wraps the myelin around there. And what that does is it creates open spaces now, and those open spaces are simply called the nodes of Ranvier. When the message or the impulse gets from one end to the other, it terminates at the axon terminal end plate. This is where the neuron will spit out neurotransmitter. Okay, so first step in learning the nervous system is to understand the terminology. The vocabulary is very, very important. If you know the vocabulary, then you speak the language. If you speak, if you speak the language, then you can answer the questions that we're, you're going to be asked about biology. Okay, let's review. So these are the new terms that you're going to need to know in order to answer questions about a neuron or a nerve cell. You need to know its parts and functions. So here's the parts, here's the functions. The parts that we learned today are the dendrites, which are like little antennas that are gonna receive stimulus. The cell body, just that main part of a cell that contains all those organelles that a normal, typical animal cell contain. The axon is just simply that stretch, the long extension of the cytoplasm. Uh, it's designed to, to send a message from one end to the other really, really quickly. Schwann cells, if they're present, are going to secrete or ooze out myelin and wrap the axon with it. It's kind of like the uh, coating on electrical wires. If you bear it, you can see the copper inside. And if, if you don't, you can see the plastic coating. Uh, myelin is just that coating that, this, that the Schwann cell secretes. Uh, nodes of Ranvier would be if you bared that copper wire, you're gonna see the axon underneath. So that's just simply what we call a node of Ranvier, a space between where there's coating or a space between the myelin. Uh, neurolemma, fun word in biology, sounds like lemma, but it's not. It's a neurolemma, and the neurolemma 
is a covering on the axon of some but not all neurons. Now, if the neurolemma is present, then if that neuron is damaged, then the neurolemma will help repair the damage. It will help regenerate or regrow a damaged axon. Okay, the axon terminal end plate is where the axon will release neurotransmitters onto an effector. Now, an effector could be another neuron, uh, it could be an organ, a gland, um, muscle. And uh, when we release neurotransmitter, it's basically like the axon or the neuron spitting onto the next thing in line. Okay, and, it, and the spit or the neurotransmitter is going to cause it to do something. Easy.